Kevin, what do you say to some critics who might suggest that you're stuck in the Reagan era when it comes to the war on drugs mindset? After all, 64% of Americans now support legalizing marijuana. Well, look, I think it's a false dichotomy between the war on drugs and criminalization on the one hand and legalization and commercialization on the other. I'm not calling for you know a war on drugs, a war on marijuana where we arrest people for using marijuana. I could really, if you're an adult smoking a joint, that's not what my concern is. My concern is that we're enabling an industry like the tobacco industry that lied to the American people for almost a century as they laughed all the way to the bank. That's what the marijuana industry is doing. They're completely denying the harms uh, and the problems. And the scientific consensus is that today's marijuana is dangerous. It's addictive. There's 30% addiction rate now with marijuana. That's much higher than alcohol. We have more people regularly using marijuana now than we have drinking. We have more people regularly using than we ever have before. So we see an increase in emergency room admissions, this um, uncontrolled vomiting, the psychosis, as I mentioned, the heart disease, diabetes. So we're just, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the da data and science. I've served three U.S. presidents on both sides of the aisle. I'm, I'm nonpartisan. Um, I just want what's best for our country, and I'm concerned that we're allowing the marijuana industry to get ahead of the science. 